Welcome back for the third time this evening as we try to conclude the uh, battle of the French as Team Titan and LDLC uh, ready to take this one on. The score is 15-14 in favor of Titan. We have but one round or overtime remaining uh, between these two sides. And uh, let's uh, get ourselves in game and uh, find out who's going to take it off. Yeah, well, thank you very much for staying with us so far. We're very sorry about the problems. And right now, they're just going to be resetting the money, and uh, we should be hopping in as soon as possible. It's 15-14, as uh, Stu just said, and uh, it could be the final round. Our team LDLC could take it to uh, overtime. Carly, sadly, having to do a bit of IP flipping to try and get away from those pesky DDoSes, so uh, hopefully there won't be any problems this time. And after this, we'll be hopping on to the next match after that, Fnatic yeah. versus Virtus Pro. Next game is pretty much ready to go as well, so uh, VP Fnatic will come up, and then our last game of the day will be LGB, now Team Globe, versus uh, Dignitas. So we've got you covered for uh, all night long, uh, actually. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but as we were just mentioning before, we had a pause. Titan just came on really strong, won a few rounds. We had another pause, LDLC 1-1, one, one, but then Titan 1-1 one, one because of perhaps because of Carly's uh, DDoS or perhaps they just won the round fair and square. However, what do you expect is going to happen now? I mean, Titan in general have looked stronger. But uh, the, the situation of the game has been a bit bit odd, bit, uh, a bit different. Uh, so uh, honestly, anything could happen. Given that it's only one round, you're just looking to come out the block strong, maybe surprise your opponent. Mm. Both times that we've uh, ha had these breaks, we've come back and had a really quick round. Yeah, very uh, quick afterwards. round, very quick fire round indeed. And each team trying to get the other team off guard um, with some very aggressive play. As you, were men as you mentioned, it's been back and forth between the two sides. Team Titan winning rounds, LDLC winning rounds, LDLC looking strong sometimes, Team Titan looking strong, and for both half, for both halves, sorry, they've they've looked good on a CT side and on the T side. So really, at the moment, I'll probably give the, I'll probably say that Titan might win because they only have one round left. Um, there might be a bit less pressure on them, but still, LDLC came back from what was it, 14 to 11 or 14 to 10? And Titan have experience in this. Dreamhack uh, Invitational. That one didn't finish until four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so they're uh, ready. They're they're, they're ready and prepped. patient. There's yeah. DDoS training that uh, that they've been through. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we're going to ask you for your opinion on uh, what's coming up next, which is going to be uh, Fnatic versus Virtus Pro. Uh, tweet at face it with the hashtag face it CS. Either VP or Fnatic at the moment. Everyone's going for the Polish uh, strong house who have uh, recently really kicked up their form post Katowice and have uh, carried that on. And Fnatic. Definitely uh, falling from grace at the moment. Yeah, they've not been playing very well lately. They've uh, not been at the level that we expect to see Fnatic, you know. Probably the second best Swedish side. Maybe not anymore. Not anymore, not LGB. Anymore. LGB doing a, a better job. They're both on two wins and one loss, however. Um, but LGB were able to beat um, uh, Ninjas in Pajamas uh, last time they met in uh, the face at Spring League. However, there's something to mention. Fnatic actually got one of their wins, and LGB got their loss, or XLGB, Team Global, got their loss against Fnatic. So Fnatic have not been doing so horribly bad, but they're inconsistent, I guess. That's the, the main point to make. Sometimes they win games, sometimes they don't. I mean, they lost against Wizards, which is uh, something people really don't expect to see yeah. um, in uh, the ESEA uh, uh, qualifiers. So we'll see what happens. Fnatic, they could, they could play well against Virtus Pro, but Virtus Pro, very consistent side, very good players, uh, very experienced players. It, 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 any team must be really, really wor worried get playing against uh, some, a side like Virtus Pro. Particularly in the form they're in, winning Katowice only uh, strengthened their confidence. We're still waiting to get this one underway. Let's see what you guys have to say in, uh, in chat. Yeah, that's the, the beauty of streaming these days. Yeah. If, uh, if it all goes to crap, you can just uh, dive into chat. Let's see what you guys have been saying. Um... In fact, my chat hasn't updated in a while. Oh, so uh, M my phone's dead, so I'm I'm not going to be able to do anything. Oh. Let, let's hope the producers can uh, keep us. <laughs> yeah, so uh, <laughs> so sick of this game. Want to watch Fnatic is what we're hearing. Yeah, uh, we're very sorry about the delays. Hopefully, um, this will be the last delay of today. We never know. Fingers crossed. I've uh, uh, seen a lot of fun stuff. There we go. We're back in and. Uh, I tell you what, face it, stop killing esports and turn off uh, subscriber-only chat. Let the let the people express themselves. Let, let's hear the, 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 the crowds. There we go. They're free. They're free. <laughs> They're all free. Everyone's free. We've opened the freedom. <laughs> Everyone's just screaming freedom. And uh, yeah. The populace just increased by uh, five million fold. You've, you've freed the masses from the chains of uh, sub-mode only slavery. Yeah. There's, there's really not a great deal going on in, in, in chat other than freedom and boobs. <laughs> so uh, 
just the just the usual chat. Uh, n- nothing new, nothing different. Esports at its best, ladies and gentlemen. Really represented to the masses. Oh, and we love uh, you guys, though. Uh, just freedom. Uh, people just happy to be free, happy to type, happy to to do a bit of spamming. I don't think my phone can handle much more of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In the meanwhile, I guess we can uh, show you guys the interview that DDK had with uh, Devilwalk, who is uh, one of the players for Fnatic, and uh, he'll be uh, playing next game against Virtus Pro. So let's roll that. Uh, well, obviously we want to win every match, um, so we're a bit disappointed, um, but still we have time to bounce back. So it's not, you know, they deserve the win they got from us, so uh, we can't really do that much. We're looking forward to the next match and hopefully we'll bring back results our way. Well, the previous matches we haven't had that great of a preparation, uh, but we're doing solid right now. Um, we have some good preparation. We've been playing a lot, uh, and uh, we're trying to bounce back from, <clears throat> from our recent uh, bad results. So, um, yeah, uh, I think we have good preparations heading into to the rest of the tournament. Um, I have to say, like, I don't like using the word scary, but. Uh, I have a lot of respect for Titan and how they play, and, and obviously NIP is um, is a strong, strong opponent and strong, um, you know, uh, yeah, a strong opponent in the league. So I guess I'll say them, those two. Um, hopefully, we can pull out ahead of those, those games. They're, they're going to be close games when you're facing up. Against Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We were reading your great chat. A lot of insightful uh, debate. Uh, theories on war and peace as uh, we get back underway. I want you to take us away for what could be the last round. It's going to be the last round here. We can see Carly has gone for the op. And we don't have an op on the other side for Kenny S. This could be an interesting uh, change of events. Full by there by the T side. And I, all they need is this round to win their game. Finally, after a long night of back and forth between these two absolute monsters of Counter-Strike, we might see the uh, conclusion. The majority of the T side towards bomb site B. We don't have anybody really checking mid, but Kenny S is there just in case the CTs get a bit greedy. And Maniac with a nice push through apartments, but it's not going to be successful as Smiths will get the headshot on him. And now it's five on four. Smiths with nine HP, and the CTs are put a bit off balance. And uh, no idea where they might be going now as the minimap has disappeared. He's decided to leave us. Kenny has thrown a flash on shot, putting a smoke. He's got one man with him in under an, uh, in underground and uh, looks like they might be trying to go into bombsite B through shot. C taking control of mid. They do have a smoking connector so they won't be shot from bombsite A. And Kenny has though flashed by the CTs. Nice little counter flash there to hold them off just a while longer. Three CTs in bombsite B. Will they be able to hold off the Absolute massacre. That is Team Titan. They are pushing into the bomb site. Uzi with a kill on Scream, but he won't be able to stand long as Kenny, Kenny S will get the kill. Bomb is being planted. No time to waste. And now the CTs have an uphill struggle. It's three on three as Carly gets a very nice shot on Kenny S. He's so close with that AWP, but Smiths will be able to take him down. Three on two. Happy is the last man standing. It's him between... It's, it's, he's the only one left. If, if he can't do anything, nobody can. It'll be 16-14 for Team Titan. And there you go, the end of a scintillating game. Team Titan beating LDLC 16-14. to 14, And that's the closest score you can get without, a, without overtime. But uh, Unfortunately, a bit of an anticlimax of an ending there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Titan taking it in the end. And uh, they went up against a team that loaded the B-bomb site. They went in and they cleared the B-bomb site. A three-man defense there. Quick rotation in. So uh, got to give some uh, credit to them for going about it the hard way. Uh, you saw the interview we had with uh, Devil Walk. It'll be Fnatic versus Virtus Pro coming up next. We're going to take a quick break. And then when we come back, we'll get that game straight underway. So 